thank you for joining us for the weekly wrap up. I'm Erin Briscoe Clark. March is National Women's History Month and events are taking place across the district to recognize the contributions made by women in our community and nation. I am only the second female mayor since the 1800s. I'm so grateful for that opportunity and what motivates me. Thank you. Mayor Goh was joined on stage alongside several women from our community for a panel discussion with ROC and CTEC students in celebration of Women's History Month. CTEC hosted its annual Women in Careers event Tuesday, where students learned about women's impactful roles in industries such as politics, technology, medicine, law enforcement, and education. This year's theme was Uniquely You. We want the girls to take away magic that you are created as a woman, but you have so many gifts to offer the world, so many personality traits that belong specifically to you, but they are wonderful because you are wonderful and you're beautiful, and I love that. Students were empowered by the inspiring stories of community leaders, Mayor Karen Goh, Lisa Kirsch, Liz Madden, Robin Moses, Sharon Brown, KHSD officer Marisol Ernest, and Monique Rogers, highlighting the invaluable contributions women make across diverse fields while breaking barriers along the way. There is a lot of male dominating jobs out there that a lot of women are interested in. And it can be very intimidating, especially when there's men who can tell you like, no, you can't do it, you're a woman. You can't do this, you're a woman, you know? And I think knowing these women, it's like, no, that's wrong. I don't have to pay attention to it. I, I can do it. I can accomplish it if I truly believe in myself. So I think that's why it's important. The event concluded with a women's luncheon for staff and panelists. Last week, young ladies throughout the district in the Young Women Empowered for Leadership, or YWEL program, also came together at SeaTac in celebration of International Women's Day. The theme was Women in Careers Aspire to Excellence. What has been your greatest reward and your greatest challenge? I would say my greatest reward so far is becoming an educator. A dynamic panel of inspiring women educators and entrepreneurs from our community shared stories and their path to achieve success. Camille Mosley Moran, a BHS teacher and the visionary behind Future Self Longevity Coaching, delivered the opening message and provided practical exercises designed to supercharge the mind and body. Her message was of hope and determination. She encouraged students to recognize their worth and embrace the boundless potential within them. I think a lot of times students see barriers to getting into whatever industry they want to pursue or they think it's not for me, this is impossible or I don't have the money to get to become a, a cosmetologist or the money to go to college and we want to connect with them so that they have a real face and a person to connect a career with and then they can ask us questions how'd you do it and hopefully that our stories make it more feasible for them and we always need more young women that can be strong forces in whatever field they're needed in. We want to thank Miss Mosley Moran, Von Seal McDaniel Stewart, Glenda Woolfolk, Bianca Haynes, Charmaine M. Vega, and Fahima Salahud Din Floyd for taking the time to connect with students. The YWEL program was established in 2017. Through mentoring, community involvement, and support, the program's goal is to prepare young African American females in the district to graduate with the academic, social, and leadership skills that will enable them to be successful in their post secondary pursuits and life. Been pushing for this for a long time, and um, I'm just excited to, to take a group of students to back to DC and to see them uh, perform there. The Golden Hawks We the People team is ready to spread its wings at the national finals. Centennial's team has been putting in hours of preparation to compete against the nation's best in the mock congressional hearings competition. And the pressure is on. This is the first national showing for the Golden Hawks since 2012. So I've been coaching nine years and we've been very competitive. We've won our regional competition all but one year. And every year we've gone to state and we've been getting really, really close. Five out of the last six years, we've been third at the state competition and they usually take the top two teams. So this year was even closer, and when they gave us another wild card to go to the Nationals, we were really excited. Because of the surprise invite, the team has had little time to fundraise to make this once-in-a-lifetime trip a reality. We're very grateful for everyone who has been donating and helping participate, because without them, we would not be able to go in the first place. 
So we are very grateful and happy that it's doing well. The national finals will be held April 13th through the 15th. The Civic Education Program provides comprehensive instruction in the foundations, history, and culture underlying the U.S. Constitution and Bill of Rights. To learn more about the team's fundraising efforts and how you can offer support, please find the story on kernhigh.org under latest news. Students from journalism and broadcast programs from across the district participated in the 6th Annual Journalism Day held at Bakersfield College on March 8th. Attendees got the opportunity to explore career pathways in print and photojournalism, broadcasting, public relations and marketing while learning best practices from local experts in the field. Well, the field of journalism needs new recruits. It needs people who are passionate about this American, uniquely American thing we have here of uh, a free press. Uh, free journalism, free broadcast, and I want to encourage as many high school people as possible. I'm really hoping to get some information about the field that I'm going into because I'm not sure what aspect I'd like to go into. I'm primarily wanting to go into print, but um, I'm really open to anything at this point. The day wrapped up with student awards and recognitions for their commitment and contributions to their respective student-run news organizations. You can find the full list of award recipients at kernhigh.org under the latest news. March is Youth Art Month and students district-wide are showcasing their talents in a virtual exhibition. During Youth Art Month, we celebrate our students' dedication to learning and growing their artistic abilities. Art students created amazing pieces using anything from acrylic paint, watercolor, charcoal, pencil and pen, mixed media, photography, and ceramics. Each piece highlights the student artists and describes the inspiration behind the art. The virtual art gallery can be found on the Kern High School District website, our YouTube channel, and social media platforms. Great work to all of the student artists, and thank you for sharing your talents with our community. And finally, incredible creativity is shaping South High School's campus. With each passing period, South High School students will be reminded of what it means to be a Spartan. Art instructor Armando Rubio and his talented students recently painted a stunning mural showcasing the school's mascot and motto, Spartans Do It Right, representing respect, integrity, goals, heart, and tradition. Thank you for watching the KHSC Weekly Wrap Up. To see more videos from across the district, please visit the Kern High School District Public Information Office YouTube channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.